We're interrupting today's scheduled programming to introduce to you to today's sponsor, Freeze Pipe. The coldest smoke, the smoothest hits. If you want to smoke, but you hate when your lungs burn and you get into those coughing fits, you really should try out Freeze Pipe. They have a unique line of freezable pipes, bongs, bubblers, and more. Each piece is specifically engineered to cool smoke by over 300 degrees, so you're not hacking up a lung every time you take a hit. <laughs> the best. I personally hate glass, but I love this shit. So, you know, take it from me. Try it out. We've been smoking all of these. This is all we've been smoking pretty much mm -hmm. lately. Usually we <laughs> smoke blunts, but the hits are just way too good. So make sure to check out Freeze Pipe's entire line of high quality glass at thefreezepipe.com and use code 2G1B for 10% off your order. Hell yeah. Again, you can find it at thefreezepipe.com and use 2G1B for 10% off your order. If you're a filthy stoner like us, you need to get one of these glass pieces. You will not regret it. Hey girl, you trying to hit this? Oh, you know exactly what I need. <laughs> Are you writing that down? No. Oh. No. I was like, you should. That's quality. He doesn't drink or smoke. His brain is just working at maximum capacity or like oh, optimal fuck. optimal capacity you or whatever. You didn't even whatever. have to take those drugs that like Leonardo DiCaprio did the or whatever. Limit, limitless ones? Yeah. No, uh, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio didn't take limitless pills, but it, it was the other white guy. There's another. They white all look guy? the same. They, uh, I mean, yeah, they all look the same to yeah. me too. But whatever, it was another white guy. It was Bradley Cooper. <laughs> Bradley Cooper oh. took the limitless pill. I get and, them all mixed up. Uh, who doesn't? I'm bad you know at names. Saying? I'm really bad at names, and honest, yeah, white people look the same. That's why we say baby to each other because we're bad at names. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, babe, <laughs> hey, baby. You know, we forget. Like Jim, Mike, Tom, Tim, Steve. <laughs> my mo my mother always. Uh, if you know she comes up to you and she's like, "Hey, handsome," it's because she has she no, no idea, idea what your name your is, name. <laughs> and she'll say someone's name when she knows it, which is very rare. So it's just really funny. And I'm like, "Yeah, my mom doesn't know who you are." <laughs> like your mom loves me. I'm like, no. <laughs> I don't. Save, I don't save numbers in my phone, anyone's numbers. I don't save anyone's numbers. So Same. when I write your no name, it's because I'm making sure it's you. People are like, oh, that's so like, you're so personal. And I'm like, no, oh, I, have, I just, don't I'm not numbers. sure. So I just feel like making my life more complicated. You know what I'm saying? It's like a thing. That is toxic. more complicated. Yeah, it's toxic. I'm toxic. <laughs> oh, you're one of those. You're like, if I save my number in your phone, like we're good. But like, I need to like, let you know where you stand in my life. And it's the fact that I save no nine numbers. numbers pop up when Do you, you just text have people me. memorize. I memorize numbers that I care about. So I'm the like, same way. I don't have my mom's number saved. I just don't save same. numbers in my phone. Well, I don't have a mom, but I don't have my dad's number Yeah, saved. there you go. Well, either way. I feel like that's <laughs> mad sketchy. What are you doing for work? Uh, mad sketchy, yes. How about we unpack what Emily is like, <laughs> I don't have a mom. And it's like, yo, yo, That's like common heavy. on this podcast. I know it's known, but sheesh, that was so heavy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't have a mom. <laughs> All right, calm down, orphan Annie. We get it. You know what I'm saying? Well, I have a dad, so yeah, I can't be an orphan yet. I get it. I get it. Until yet. he dies. Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? I'm, what did I sign? What did I sign? <laughs> Your rights uh, away. Yeah, I know, but this looks like I'm signing like, oh, yes, I do. Uh, I do co-sponsor this murder oh, plan. Up. No, I don't want to. I don't <laughs> have a dad. Who's murdering? I don't have a dad. I, I have a dad until I don't. Like, what? Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. That is how it works. I think, yeah, the, the point of this podcast is just to get as chaotic and crazy as possible. I'm about that life. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I you get look it. it. You showed up, you in, showed a up in a Versace robe. robe. I'm, in a, I'm, I'm a robe. Wait, is that a Doja Cat shirt? Yeah, yo, it is. It really you got a flash for Wait, the cam. Yo. That's fire. Doja Cat. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. For oh. sure. You got a rep her. You know what I'm saying? Listen, guys are like, I'm too cool and masculine to do it. Yo, I will rep a Doja Cat, <laughs> Justin Bieber shirt. Like, I, whatever I feel like, I do. Like, it is what it is. I love I that. I love that. Yeah. You're fucking I'm, you. Exactly. That's how it should be. We should all be just us. That's yeah. what we're trying to be I'm, on this I started podcast. to like stop caring. When we first started this podcast, we got fully done up every single time, like good outfits, which because our goal was to go viral and like go, I don't know, get noticed fast, right? Like and grow really help. fast. Tits and looking good helps. And so we like got ready every single time. And then we were like, this is exhausting. This doesn't feel like us because do we look like this every day? Fuck no. <laughs> we're gonna, if we really want to make this a job, we have to be able to just like either be able to roll out of bed or be comfortable with who we are to get on camera all the time and have the podcast. You know what's great about that is that I'm on the 
tailspin landslide of you guys just trying not to look good. I'm so <laughs> fortunate. You know yeah. <laughs> like, so, so basically, this you is didn't what I get, heard. You didn't get us dressed up. Yeah, what I heard was, <laughs> yo, every other guy, we used to dress up and look sexy <laughs> and just do so much and put an effort. And for but you. now we're like, you know what? Fuck it. This is what we look like. It is what it is. We're five years in this relationship. It's not <laughs> new anymore. Take me as I am. Yeah, exactly. You got the real I get it. Hey, I get it. I These kind of dilemmas come up all the time. I have a friend, right? And she is right now dating a guy who wants to have a threesome. Ooh. And she's like, she won't have a threesome with him. But not because she doesn't do threesomes, because she loves him. And so she won't have a threesome with him. And he's upset about that. And let me explain. Had she had never had threesomes, he wouldn't have said anything. But she's had threesomes and had had brought up having a threesome before. And now that she's actually in love with him, won't have a threesome oh. with him. See, but will he have a threesome with two guys? <laughs> she doesn't want that. So oh. that doesn't even, it that's doesn't not even what she wants. She wants, she wants to have another girl, but she doesn't want to have with him because she's afraid to lose it. Exactly. Because it does, it does pose risk. And she almost is a part of opening up that mm -hmm. risk. And if she's at fault for that, like she'd blame herself and then it'd be really sad. But at the same time, it's the same thing with like guys being like, oh, yeah, it's totally fine that you're sexual. But like, would you want to marry a girl who was like in a gangbang with 15 dudes? You know what I mean? Even though they did I mean, it in the it past. It depends on who the dudes are. <laughs> like, it, you're like, like I, I like you, but I don't love you. You know what I was mean? Was she in the gangbang with 15 guys and it's like, YG, the game? Or was it like 15 guys and it was like Jeff Bezos? You know That's what I'm saying? Fair. Like I'm, I'm being that honest because I'm not. I'm not worried about Jeff Bezos' dick. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? Right. Jeff Bezos' dick so is it's not because really, it's little or I'm, because I'm, it's just, Jeff Bezos. No, Jeff, Jeff I mean, Bezos' dick is not little. Listen, it's Jeff, big. I'm pretty sure he had a decent sized dick. It was like average when it like came out, and people were like surprised. I'm I'm letting you know right now. No matter how big or small Jeff Bezos' <laughs> dick is, he's not the one putting it down. Do you understand yeah, what I'm saying? Like you're yeah. not looking at Jeff Bezos like. Yeah, like, that's not pipe. what's happening. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter. You name some rappers as if they put them down, but we have so many friends who fuck so many rappers and they do not put it down. I'm sure <laughs> they, they actually don't, suck in bed. I'm a lot sure of them. they don't put it down. However, do I want to sleep with a girl that thinks that YG is okay? And I'm like, no, nah, that's probably not. I can understand fucking Jeff Bezos. You know what I'm saying? I might have to take the L. You know what I'm saying? I might have to be I like, hey Jeff. Bezos. hey, Jeff. You know what I'm saying? Who at this He's table wouldn't? $300 billion. You know what I'm saying? Yo, like, I'm, fuck yeah. I'm, 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 listen. You Break can me buy, off a slice of, slice of that pie. Exactly. You can buy a lot of new memories with a billion dollars. A lot of new memories. Like, I won't even remember, like, oh, remember the time you deep throw to Jeff Bezos? No. I'm like, nope, I'm in Dubai. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, I don't. You can buy yourself enough like therapy. You can buy yourself a new, a new life. That's you how can. it works. A new face. That's why if someone offered me like, you know what I mean, and I'm in a relationship, and they're like, like I don't know, five million dollars to fuck your girlfriend. You have to say yeah. Yeah. Why would that's your... a whole porn category too? Oh, Maybe you could get really? into it. Yeah. You know the yeah, thing. Yeah, someone pays to fuck your girlfriend. It's not fair. That's a I category? used to watch those. That's how I know. If if I'm in a relationship and like a girl I'm with and someone offers her offers her five million dollars to have sex with them and we're like in a real committed relationship. If she doesn't fuck them, then I'm going to be offended. I'm like, then this isn't real. Then you don't care about us. You're not okay? right. This is an in investment us. This, in this, us. This is like, help me help you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Think of like, the vacations. Like, if someone paid me, listen, I'm telling you right now, I don't, I won't be proud of myself, but... <laughs> If someone was paying me, they'd have to pay me another five million to stop fucking them. You know what I'm saying? They'd be like, no, I'm done. I'm done. I'm like, nah. I'm, you're getting you're your getting money's it. worth. You are getting your money's worth. There's a five million dollar cancellation fee here. Exactly. You got that Ellen DeGeneres? You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh my God. Take this, Elon Musk. I mean, it is yeah. what it is. You're you know fucking. what I'm saying? I'm not, it's like, yo, I get it. Okay. I am not saying that this is what I would do on an average day. <laughs> I'm not sucking dick for $20 on Hollywood Boulevard. So that was my next question. What's the minimum that you guys would do to have sex or allow your partner to have sex with someone? Ha my partner? Or you? My partner depends. depends on the partner. Look, wh 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 is this a partner like, yo, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just fucking, so hey, we fucking. Or is no, this so like, No, you're yo, in a committed relationship. Like, like my up. wife? Yeah, yeah, my, your wife. My wife? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yo, honestly. How much to fuck your wife? Yo, <laughs> your hypothetical wife. Yo, when you're in a, when you're in a wife situation, you know, two mil. This bitch got a <laughs> 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 Two 
the minute. streets. <laughs> you're for the streets. Okay? Let's not act like you were the Virgin Mary here, bitch. You, let's you get it out there. You become her pimp and let's stuff. Let's go. Let's you're get like, some get numbers Let's up. make this. Let's Linda Lovelace this bitch. Let's get oh this God. out there. You're like knocking doors on Silicon yeah. Valley, offering up your wife. Yeah. You're like two million dollars. But we're not just going anywhere. We're going. We're going Mark Zuckerberg and up. Like, we're, yeah. not, just, like yeah. we're not doing. Look, here, here's here's the thing. Okay. You got to still have. You have to be selective. Okay? Yeah. With your you wife. You got to be selective sure. with your wife. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? As a girlfriend, we're out in these streets. Yeah. But when it's your wife, you're gonna have to be like, yo, Leonardo DiCaprio. Of course you can fuck my wife. <laughs> but like, we have a caliber course. of men. We, we, like Leo? You know what he I'm wears saying? headphones, I think, when he fucks people anyway. That's so, so weird. What about Arnie Hammer? Is that would where, you let Arnie Hammer fuck your wife? I would let him fuck I would my be wife? Fucked. I would let myself be fucked by Arnie, yeah. Arnie Didn't Hammer. Didn't he like, do cannibalism yeah, or some he shit? he can fuck my wife, but he can't eat her out. He <laughs> can't eat her out. Do you understand? <laughs> he can't eat her out. Like, Because then like, he'll eat her like, out. Like, why are we <laughs> eating my wife? Army, army, Not pay extra for cannibalism, you know? <laughs> He's like fiends on the ground. Like I mean, you have to away. pay for the therapy that she's going to need after that. So you need an extra like therapy fee on top. You know, see that stuff came out about him. And I was like, all of a sudden I started feeling something. I was like, not the cannibalism part, but like it was like the aggressive dominant part. And then I was like, I got deeper into it. And he's like, I'll cut off your toe and put it in my pocket and like weird shit like that. <laughs> no, you will and, not. And then I was like, well, OK, there's a line. There's definitely a line. But the initial part and he's so hot. So I'm not going to forget about the cannibalism. I, I personally looking into it. OK, I think people take things out of context all the time and context without con- <laughs> content without context is not information. So they're like we love looking into people's slices of life. And being like, this is what it is. But I just, I don't know enough about Army Hammer's real life. Because I'll tell you something personally. I love pushing the envelope when it comes to saying something. <laughs> so if someone says something to me, even as a kid, you know, being a kid, like, people would be like, oh, you're so gay. And I'd be like, yep, love the dick. <laughs> I love it. I love cock. You know what makes me love cock? Wearing the shirt. Wearing the shirt that you thought was gay made me love cock. Like, I just yeah. love pushing it. And especially when people don't, before people, now I'm a comedian. So they understand that it's more, you know, you add a little more flavor to it. But before then, they just thought, oh, my God, this guy's crazy. This guy's absolutely crazy. Because I would just be like, what? Like, who cares? Uh, yeah, I like dick up my ass. Like, what are you going to exactly. do, do about it? What are you going to do about it? I never take criticism from someone that I would not take advice from. That's so true. Who would you take advice from? Jeff Bezos. <laughs> you know what I'm like, listen, as, like, it's Jeff Bezos. Like, this guy's doing it right. Like, he's yeah. doing it right. He... He's extorting people, but he's, doing it, he's doing it right. <laughs> extorting people legally. And on top of that, he's, look, not only that, but this is a guy who got a new bitch and then was like, you know what? Your pussy's so trash. Here's 75000000000 billion. I'm going with the new. You know how great someone's pussy must be to, for you to pay another girl $75 billion to move on? $75 billion. Was she a billion also, dollars he paid her? He gave the ex, or not gave, but I mean gave the ex $75 billion. Billion with a B. People don't understand the difference in billion. That's insane. But also, she like built the company from ground up. Like her parents invested in it, and oh. she did a lot of the work oh, for no. it. Oh, oh, really? What's her name? Oh, I don't know. Exactly. Ah! That's, how, that's how you Fuck. know. You know what I'm saying? Like you know who won the championships in Chicago? <laughs> Michael Jordan. Actually, I Scottie didn't know Pippen. That. Who else? We don't know the rest of their names. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't know the 16th man's name. You know the stars' names. Fuck. Okay. Jeff made it. And my he thing did is. Make it. So people think a million and a billion. They like, oh, you have a million dollars. How You're many millions wealthy. are in a billion? Oh, this is the best part. Okay, hundred. This is the best part. I'm not good at math. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's a, a, a thousand, which makes it even worse. A thousand but, millions in a billion. So this is how it works. Let me put it in perspective. If a million instead of dollars, it was seconds. Okay, how many? Se- how how long is a million seconds? How many days, a weeks, lot. months, years? Just guess. Give me a guess of how long is a million seconds. Don't overthink it. Just throw it out there. I'm going to say 274 days. Oh, that's actually way closer than most people say. That was really specific, eerily. <laughs> uh, it's 11 days. It's about 11 <laughs> days, give or take. About you said 11 I days. Was close, it's a mother. little more than 11 okay, days. But people it probably is. say like six years. Yeah, they people like over-exaggerate. Yeah, exactly. It. 11, um, 1 million seconds is 11 days. You know how long a billion 
seconds is in no. comparison? 32 years. What? That's the difference between 1 million and 1 billion is that 1 million seconds is about a little over 11 days and 1 billion seconds is a little over 32 years. I think I'm having a heart attack. So that <laughs> gives me anxiety. This man has $300 billion. How many years is that? Okay. $300 you- billion. Dollars. Okay. That That's- should be illegal. <laughs> And that's what a lot of people's conversation is, is the point is like, oh, why would you even need to have that much money? But that person, Jeff Bezos by himself, has more money than half the planet combined. That's wild. Jeff Bezos by himself. Half the, like a little over half the planet combined. That's some Jeff fuck Bezos you money. Himself. That's fuck that's you some money. That's some fuck you and here that you go to shut you. up money. Here's $75 billion to your ex-wife money. So Do you understand what I'm saying? Someone else. So he can just fuck someone You know what? Jeff else. Bezos can extort me. Now, do you understand? <laughs> I would let oh, him extort me. Look, look, Jamie's on board with the sucker <laughs> Jeff Bezos. Is dick with. Before, Jeff Bezos, where are you at? <laughs> before, we weren't fucking Jeff Bezos. Now you're joining. Like, we're all fucking we're Jeff joining, Bezos. We're, we're like, joining forces we have a as a team. with Jeff Bezos. Yeah. Two girls, one blonde, one, one Tehran, and one, one Jeff, Jeff Bezos, Bezos yeah. dick. <laughs> that's like two girls, one cop, except with us. You know what I'm saying? Are we like, shitting and pissing on him, too? Yo, for $300 billion. That's true. I would do a lot. I would not eat shit. That takes us to the Dubai place. Eat shit. Here's the thing. You're right. You wouldn't eat shit. Because I would throw up immediately after. But, 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 a billion dollars buys you a lot of new flavors. Do you understand what I'm saying? Can you flavor shit? A billion dollars. A billion dollars. Look. A billion dollars buys you the healthcare. Yo, (laughs) that's the whole thing. That would barely cover healthcare. that's why rich people die from like exotic diseases. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> they're like, like going to new planets not, and they're like, fuck, it got yeah. me. What is it? It's the like, only thing I can't afford to exactly. fix. Exactly. Nobody. Have you ever heard like, you know, the fibromyalgia and <laughs> shit? <laughs> like, who gets that? You're My like, sister has that. But I'm just saying, like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, shit. You know? Who yeah. cures that? Rich people. They, but they just, only cure it for themselves. They don't get shit. You know? They're like, yeah. they die, but they're like, oh, shit. Why does, why did Elon Musk get ovarian cancer? Wait, he, he can did? afford it. No, but I'm just saying he could. Oh. Like if he did, exactly. You know what I'm saying? He I don't think he has ovaries, but if he did, <laughs> like he would just get something you can't get, you know? Like that's how that, that works. Yeah. Rich At that people, point they're just like, oh, I'm invincible. I'm gonna just inject myself with whatever. That's like, why oh. I feel like when they say that rich people or important people die of things, I'm like, that's not what they died of. That's I don't not. I don't believe that. Yeah, mm-hmm. no. They literally transferred their consciousness into a, a younger body. You know what I'm saying? Some yeah. get out shit. Yeah, you're telling me. You think me, that's already happening right now? I mean, I don't think it is for real, but yeah, it is. <laughs> like, I don't think it is. But yeah. He's like, my friends in Dubai know differently. Yo, I know. No, I, Dubai like, I know people and they're frozen. I was going to go back to the whole threesome thing. I was <laughs> going to go water? back to the threesome thing. And I'll Please. tell you why. Because what my argument to her was, While she was like, and I don't think a woman should ever have to do anything she doesn't want to do. That should actually be the end of the conversation. Mm -hmm. But that's not her reasoning for it. She wants to do it. And this is the problem. She actually wanted to do it with another couple. She just doesn't want to do it with him. So I'd have a problem with that. How would that work? Exactly. She's just going to join. She wants to join another couple because she enjoys threesomes. So he can't do anything? And he can't can't be a part. No. And my thing was like, how would you feel if he was like, yo... And she was like, I told him, I was like, I used to do that for other guys, but I didn't love them. I love you. So I don't want to ruin us. And I was like, well, how would you feel if he was like, yo, I used to buy cars and diamonds and jewels and purses and bags for my other girls. But because I don't want to, I don't want us to go down a bad path. I'm not doing shit for you. You would be hella mad. Yeah. So mad. So how, mad. So mad. How the fuck can she <clears throat> fuck some other dude and some other girl and not let him do anything? That's what, and she's, yeah. she's trying to convince him of that. And that's why there's a mm. conflict. And my thing is, she shouldn't do anything. How she long have they been together? Do. A year. Oh, that's it. A I year feel in like LA. That- a year in LA is dog years. <laughs> Listen, that's seven years anywhere else. Okay. Really? Yeah. Is yeah, that yeah, yeah. If you're in LA, here, here, Miami's amazing too. Miami's amazing too. But here's the thing. Here's the problem with LA. And I tell this to people whenever they're like, "Oh my God, you know, so and so cheated with so and so." Yo, you're not around. You're not cheating. Your girl's not cheating on you with the guy that works at Foot Locker. You're, it's like, yo, she just fucked Idris Jeff Alba. Jeff Bezos. You know what I'm she just fucked, like, oh, exactly. Idris like, Alba. She just fucked Leonardo DiCaprio. Like, I'm sorry, but you're around. It's like a bunch of the 
alphas of alphas around the hottest of hots and everything is going to just mix and mesh. And everyone's just fucking each happens. other. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Chris Hemsworth, okay, <laughs> he has like, it. he's Thor, bro. This he is, is Thor. He's yeah. Thor. He's Thor. Like, How do you yo, say no to Thor? I, you don't. You, you don't Would you say, say no, no to, Thor. to Thor? Yo, he's the Norse god. <laughs> like, I can't of thunder. Like, at some point, like, what I'm saying is, my personal sexuality doesn't allow me to say yes, but my mind is like, yeah, you need to fuck Thor. What are you doing? And your penis is like, but I just don't go that way. And you're like, shut up, penis. Get up. Do you yeah. want to be in the next Avengers or what? <laughs> Do you want to be in Avengers 5? Do you want to be in Avengers 5? Okay. What? Oh, oh, you you like not being in Avengers? You, know? <laughs> you little pussy ass bitch. Yeah, you little bitch. <laughs> Get it up for Get Chris up. Hemsworth. You know what's gay? Fucking girls is gay. <laughs> Get your shit together, okay? Let's get up, okay? Let's make this happen. You oh know? My God. You think guys in jail aren't hard? <laughs> Let's go. I know. Yo, I mean, it's not what I, it's not my preferred sexuality, just biologically speaking. But the idea is you're around the hottest of hot and whether they're male or, or, or female, you know? And but you that's saw not this. important. That's important for so many people, but like, that's not important for but, me. But they're not just hot. That's what you're not understanding. Oh, they're like they're also charismatic and, and they're intelligent and they're fuck. funny and oh, they're charming shit. and they're sweet and they're, they've got eyes that look into your soul. Have you ever ah! seen Brad Pitt in real life? No, have you? I don't want to. Brad Pitt is one of the best looking male figures. <laughs> and I know he's good looking because this is how guys, as a guy, you know how I know someone's good looking? If I look at a guy and I go, damn, he gets hella bitches. <laughs> like, that means he's just a good looking guy. Like, this guy, Jeff, Brad Pitt, who is so good looking that we all make fun of it, is really just extremely good looking. He's really good looking. Have you ever seen Boris Kojo in person? He's seven foot four of manliness. Like, yo, it's like, it's a real thing. I would and get on my knees. You're around the hottest <laughs> girls. We know this because, okay, Brad Pitt was dating Rachel from Friends. Remember that? When yeah, Brad yeah, Pitt was yeah. dating Rachel and then cheated on her with Angelina Jolie. And we got over it so quick. We were like, hashtag Brangelina. Yeah. Yo, Rachel was going through it in real life. This was yeah, a real, life. This like, a real and person. We, oh. And as people, we didn't give a shit about Rachel once we found out he cheated with Angelina Jolie. We were over Rachel. We were like, shut up, bitch. It's Angelina That's Jolie. So you, should, you should support her. Oh, <laughs> you know? my god. You should love them. We they, really yeah. did that. That happens for everything. Exactly. Like, I wanted to be one of their kids they adopted. My parents <laughs> suck. What are my parents? They love me? Fuck that. I'm over that. I don't like, need to be loved. I need money. Yeah. Like, what's mom going to do? Give me another hug for my birthday? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Angelina changed their lives. You got lives. those? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, had, I actually had amazing parents, which actually. Do you still have them? To be real, like, my dad, you know, like, honestly, I didn't have, like, the best dad. You know, I made mm -hmm. the best of it. My dad wasn't like a great dad, to be very honest, because he was like one of those like loving, supporting, like being their dad. He was always like there and stuff like leave, bro. <laughs> if you left, I would be I would have sold crack. Go for milk. I would have. I would have had a fucking platinum album right now. You know what? You know what rap is if dads stay around? Country music. Like, that's oh, really what it is. Oh, my like, God. Yo, my dad stayed. I would have been in the NBA. I was really good at basketball. Like, I played, like, high school, college. My dad, when I was, like, playing, he was like, no, shoot like this, son. Shoot. It's easy. Like, yo, you know how the NBA gets good? Dad leaves. Dad's calling you a pussy. Yeah. Dad, no, wrong. He was just, like, under. He was shooting like a pussy. <laughs> dad leaves. Coach comes in. Coach takes place of dad. Kid, in order to like have that father figure, goes out of his way to impress dad and then LeBron. That's how that works. You know what I'm saying? So you or, could have been the next LeBron. Or my dad didn't beat me enough. Joe Jackson beat his kids into greatness. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, yeah. I think I got beat into like having a personality. That's what yeah, I'm saying. Like, yeah. beat you into greatness. Let's go through the list. You know what I'm saying? Any uh, King Richard, uh, <laughs> Joe Jackson, uh, Andre Agassi's dad. Like, go down the list of, of dads who just like... And, Kids are like, oh, I can't believe you. Really? Every time you every time you sleep with a supermodel, thank your beating dad. Because my dad didn't beat me. And look at me. I'm just some guy in a bathrobe <laughs> on a podcast right now. I could have been out there <laughs> fucking supermodels two at a time because I was a champion golfer or whatever Tiger Woods' dad made him. You know? Like, yeah. <laughs> my dad just loved me. He loved me. That's all he did for he you. He was like, he was all, and they were always home. Somehow they were always, I couldn't even sneak out. These people were just home like, hey, son, how are you? How I I love it. They text me today. My dad texts me today. I love you. Get a get a life, bro. Stop being a groupie. Stop being a groupie. Okay. I get it. I'm kind of famous now. Stop being a groupie. Okay. Calm down, bro. You know. Do they like your comedy? No. They, no. 
They don't. My parents, this is this is literally my family. They came, I did a big show. I'm from DC. Even though I live in LA now, I'm from DC. And I went and did a big show at Kennedy Center, which is like a prestigious place. And everyone oh, yeah. like, it's like standing ovation come out. It's like sold out. My dad and mom are like there. And they're like, and my dad's Persian. So my mom's black, my dad's Persian. And my dad's like, Ted on, um, you're so good. You know that joke you said? I never said that, okay? <laughs> Why are you saying that? Like, they're like complaining about, I'm like, dad, it's comedy, okay? It's comedy, yeah. the whole concept. It's like, I didn't say that, okay? <laughs> Why are you saying that? My mom's like, and then also, I was like, I was like, yo, can I live? Just let me write my jokes can in I peace. Can I live? I know. Um, can I live, people? Anytime I get in trouble, or in trouble, <laughs> I don't get in trouble, but like anytime Bad my mom's Jamie. mad at me, she's like, go fucking tell a joke about it. And I'm like, you know what? I am going to. Too. Yeah, yeah And I'm going to add some spice to Sprinkle it, it, all right? Sprinkle it on. Salt Bay, that Sprinkle fucking on. shit. Hell you know yeah. Saying? Yeah, but my parents, not. They're very supportive. They're very good parents. I can't lie. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you turned out pretty good. I turned out all right. <laughs> yeah, you know decent, saying? right? Yeah, I turned, turned out, out okay. Right. Uh, it's five yeah. of us, you know. The, my two sisters are doctors. My two brothers are they own businesses. We're chilling. You and know? you're in a bathrobe. I'm in a bathrobe, but I have a law but degree. See? But I have a law degree. You do have a law degree from Georgetown, right? From Georgetown, yeah. Ooh. Ooh, we did research. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we but didn't yeah. introduce you at all. Yeah, because yeah. we just we went right haven't. into it. What's, but like. Yo, what's introductions? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, true. If you don't know, you don't know. But, yeah, okay? if you don't know him. I'm the guy that's going to suck off Jeff Bezos. <laughs> okay? That's who I am. Just wait for the headlines. Yeah, just wait. Yo, because you know when people keep it private? If I'm sucking Jeff Bezos. Oh, you're telling Oh, the I'm world. telling everyone. Yeah. I sucked his dick. Okay. Monica Lewinsky sucked one dick. 30 years ago. And that's all we know about Monica Lewinsky. You yes. know what I'm saying? Like she's had a whole life after that, but she just sucked the right <laughs> dick. She sucked Bill Clinton's dick. And that is all we need to know about Monica so Lewinsky. So suck more politicians' dicks. Uh, yo, Got she it. wrote a book. Like why would we care what Monica Lewinsky thinks about anything? She, Except like, for how to what, suck dick. What did Monica Lewinsky study? We don't know. What's Monica? Where did she grow up? We don't know. Where is she from? We don't know. What's her Whose dick did she <laughs> suck? Bill Clinton. That we know. All of us know. All of us know everything about Monica Lewinsky's dicks sucking habit one time <laughs> I wonder what my legacy will be <laughs> that's what I'm saying that's why you have to be way more selective about who's about the dicks you suck, you suck. Yeah, yeah M. Damn. you have to think about it because you have to be like yo is this the dick I want to be defined for for the rest of my life for the rest of my life that's a fucking thought bars Okay, but whose dick do you want to be thought? <laughs> like, if you were gonna suck a dick, who would you want it to be? Oh, me? I thought you were asking me. I was I'll like, Jeff everyone. Bezos. We, I mean, here's the thing. Here, here, <laughs> let's be real. Lay it down. Let's be very real. Okay. Think about the dicks you've sucked. Yeah. Let's go. Let's, let's close our eyes. I'm thinking. Let's close our eyes. I don't even need to. It's so <laughs> bad. It's, it's bad. It's, it's bad. really scary in here. Think about the dicks you've sucked, right? <laughs> it's so scary. They're <laughs> so small. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Why Some of them. Like a lot of them are big. Why am I like this? Size is great. Doesn't matter. Everyone has a, every guy has a small dick. Every guy has a small dick. Do you understand a baby eight pounds four ounces come out of your vagina? Everyone has a small dick. You or do they have a big clit? Yeah. You know, <laughs> some guys. Some guys. Some guys do. Some guys do. My friend Shante Waynes has a joke about sucking a guy's dick and been like, she was drunk and she thought it was a girl. <laughs> it's like, it's like yeah. <laughs> like I can't find the hole. <laughs> like, it's a hole. It's very funny. Just go a little stop. further back. Stop. Shantae's very funny. Okay, oh, so man. you were laying it down about dick sucking. All I'm saying. Whose dick are you gonna suck? This is what I, I. This is what I told my sisters. Remember, you're gonna be defined by the one dick you suck. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And, and everyone gets upset. Everyone gets upset. They're like, yo, that's not fair. How come guys don't get defined the same way? By the pussy they eat. By the pussy they 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 No, they, they fuck. Eat, they they fuck don't. anything. Whatever it is, right? And I, I understand. I don't write the rules. I just read them. Okay? I don't write the rules. So let's go on like this. Let's say like this. Okay. If a guy sleeps with 10 girls, okay, or a girl sleeps with 10 guys, is it the same thing? Is it worse that the guy did it? Is it worse the girl did it? Or is it exactly the same? I think now guys are starting to get a little bit more shit about like sleeping around. Sure. But I think realistically, like a woman would have a harder time like bouncing back after like people like reveal that about her, even though I don't think 
it should be like slut shamed either way. Slut shaming is wrong. However, society looks at it as if it's okay when the guy does it mm -hmm. and shitty when the girl does it. Yeah. But I want to know your opinions. Is it the oh, same thing? I think thing? it's the same. I think it's, it's the, the same. same. And you'd both be wrong. And let oh. me explain. Okay. All right. <laughs> it's called the dog Put us in our play. It's called the dog spread your legs so you let's can keep mansplain this. More. Let's mansplain this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's mansplain yeah. this. Yeah. Open those legs up. Let's, let's explain. Let's explain. Pull now, your dick out. Let's Open pretend. your legs up. Let's make this happen. Take off that bathrobe. I have no shame. So let's pretend that you would do, let's make this easy. Because I know M loves drawing lines. Because I'm a little lines. slow. So let's pretend you will do something that you wouldn't normally do because of money. Okay? okay. Let's just put that out there and make that the fact. Okay. Money. Let's say there was a piece of dog shit on the ground. Would you touch it? <laughs> for money? Yeah. yeah. Would you touch it? Yeah. Would you touch it for free? I guess no. Yeah, if I probably was, not. Oh, right? no, not for free. <laughs> but, for not, money. but for money, would you touch it? $50. Dog no. shit? $100. No. Is there like a, to a bathroom right there I can wash my hands? No, we're not even getting that far. Well, we're that's what I'm touching. thinking about. Like, cause that's a variable that determines I, I how much money. Five hundred dollars. Yeah. You I'd, touch it for five hundred. I might touch dog shit. Jamie, just touch it. You yeah. Just touch it. I would just like a little poke. You know what? I'll be nice. I'll give you both a thousand dollars to touch it. Okay. Would you touch it for a thousand? I want you to be comfortable. Yeah. Would you touch it for a thousand? <laughs> I want you to be comfortable. Would you touch it for a thousand? Give me, sure. let's make it five k. Uh, let's uh, let's push. Let's not push it. I think you want it to make me comfortable. You're going Two point five. Uh, let's say 10K. Are we happy with 10? <laughs> yeah. Are we happy with 10 in this hypothetical let's situation? Let's go to Dubai, Jamie. $10,000. Would you yeah. touch it? Yeah. Would you put it in your mouth? No. $10,000. <laughs> no. You're one of those Dubai guys trying to get us to shit on a plane. No, no, no. no not at all. What did we sign up for? I don't, want, I don't want anyone shitting on a plane. Would you put it in your mouth for $10,000? <laughs> no. no. What about $50,000? No. $100,000? No. no. $1 million? No. <laughs> Look, it's a conversation at I a million. I can make that. Five yeah. million. I can no. make that. Ten million. I can make that. Fifty million dollars. I will make that. At some point, I get it, but at some point, fifty million dollars. <laughs> like that's a lot of money. Fifty million dollars to eat shit. Yeah. Wait, you have to eat it? I thought you just had to like touch you it with your mouth. Just put it in your mouth. You don't like even a, have to eat it. You just put it. You put oh, it in your mouth. I can't. It. No, I. Fifty ah, million my mouth dollars. Is vibrating. Fifty let's, million. Let's think but about then, that. but am I known? <laughs> it's like is just the, like I be known as the dick no, 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 I suck. No, no. Am I you're known, known for as, the shit I ate? You're not known for the. You're not known. <laughs> don't no eat one shit. knows. <laughs> no one even knows about the do, uh, dog shit you've touched or the dog shit you put in your mouth. Is there an Fifty million dollars. No one knows. Fuck yeah. Okay. Here's the thing. Let me explain why. Because the penis, like your finger, is an extremity. It's on the outside of our bodies. And the vagina, like the mouth, is a cavity. It's on the inside of your body. I don't like so being it has a different cavity. physiological intrinsic value. There's Do you more understand value that in works? a cavity? Yeah, the vagina's worth way more. Dick you is can trash. Hide stuff in it. Dick is trash. Stop being a drug mule. <laughs> Dick is trash. You know what I'm saying? Dick is like, uh, 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 thousand dollars, fifty dollars. You wouldn't want it for fifty. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. You know? But that cavity, you're like, oh, that's why, you know, that's why we have Fuck a me. societal <laughs> difference of why it's different for men and women. Now, do I agree with it? No. I can understand things without condoning. I can understand, but not <laughs> condone. And that is why they see it as different. It's because it's a cavity. It has a different physiological, physical, and therefore psychological <laughs> intrinsic value. I feel like you're using big words to confuse me and it's It's a it's psychological it value, but where is. where is that value coming from? What's that stemming from? And that's misogyny. Stupid fucking So horse. like it's, it's that has no basis on an actual thing because vaginas are self cleaning and most men don't even right. fucking they clean their dicks. If right. you get chlamydia on either dick or vagina, and it's just as likely, uh -huh. and I feel like it's more likely if the dude's putting his dick in more people than yeah. the woman community, dick. then like it's all the same shit. You're right. You and get herpes, you get herpes, you get HPV, you get HPV. Is I, I, I no, but <laughs> I don't know. What, I didn't sign up for that. I didn't sign up for that. But that value is is decided by the patriarchy and toxic masculinity and misogyny. And you're absolutely right. Wait until you find out how the world's economy is based on racism and it will blow your fucking mind. Oh, we know oh, that. No. Oh no, it. we're going to have to deal we with it. We know that. We're I trying to fix that too. I don't write the rules. I just read them. That's you know, all I'm saying. Can you read us a good That's rule? That's what toxic men say. Can no, you read us I'm a good just, rule? I'm toxic. I'm, I'm, what this other, is why. What other why are you as proud comedian, of being toxic? As a comedian, I'm simply the messenger. I don't kill the messenger. That's it. I'm the messenger. This is how we you know take no responsibility. That is, this is the messenger. I'm just here. I'm just here. I'm toxic. How am I toxic? I'm toxic the way water's toxic. You know, is, this alkaline water. Now, it depends on what you're made of. Off. It depends on what off. you're made of. You know what I'm saying? If you're made of the right stuff, you float. You you 
it does great. I'm there. I help wash off. I'm the medicine that helps the sugar go down. But if you're made He's out of- He's a good salesman. Iron, yeah. you rust. If you're made out of iron, you rust. If you're sensitive, I'm not for you. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That's how comedy works. And if you do not believe in the freedom of speech for those you disdain, then you do not believe in the freedom of speech. And that's what makes comedy such an amazing art form is because just Absolutely. like beauty is in the eye of the beholder, comedy so is in the comedy. ear of the audience. Ear of the audience. The ear of the audience. And wow, you're you good. Folk. You're good. <laughs> So when we I'm going to Dubai? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're flying to Dubai. You Yo, got friends for I already us? Got M. We just brought I already him got M. on just to see if we could get on a flight. Mm. That was he it. He was like, We're, I'm going to I Dubai I didn't even next know week. you you that went on flights. Week. Oh, I fly. Oh, he's a flyer. I'm a frequent flyer. I've been I've been What's your AA advantage number? You're bucked you know, on a plane. <laughs> right? Wow. Have you? Have I ever had sex on a plane? No. Have right. you ever jerked off on a plane? No. No, I actually, you know, I'm actually one of those, you know, I'm not a fan of that form of toxic masculinity at all. Like, I always think it's so nasty. I always say most of the world's problems is just men. Like, when people are like, oh, black people steal and, and Muslims are terrorists or whatever stereotype people assign, you just mean men. Like, literally, it's just mostly men. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're, you're not afraid of, like, you're really not afraid of, like, Muslim women. It's not like you're afraid that Fatima's the one with the bomb. You just don't like men. And, in fact, you're actually not afraid of Muslim men. You're just only afraid of specifically one type of 1.001% of just stupid yeah. men. These guys would have been anything anywhere they go. So it's you know all men. It's well, a, not all men, but it's it's just a, men. A lot of men. I, blanket statements aside, it's like men are a lot of the problem in the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, why are we still dealing with these things? There was some guy who jerked off on a plane like two <laughs> weeks ago next to a, a female passenger like, oh. bro, Fix your life, my dude. That's gross. Literally, that's yeah. so gross. Like, what are we doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, fix your life. Why like, do you need I to think jerk so, off? a lot of men just let their dicks control them. Yeah. Like, that, like that's when you're, if you're too horny, there's definitely been guys we've been around where you can see them, like, too horny that they have to, like, they're, like, weird about it. And then <laughs> it's, like, they can't, they're, like, I just need to jerk off right now. Is it cool? And you're, like, what? Yeah. No, we're like at Target. Yeah. I don't know. You oh, can't jerk yo, off. It's not that serious. And let me tell you something, really. It's not even that good. Like, what's going <laughs> on, bro? Like, honestly, yo, yo, you know how you know it's not that good? This is, you know, it's not that good because A, you know how you know as a guy you're in love is after you come, you don't mind that the girl stays around. That's <laughs> all it takes. Like, if you don't mind, because no no one is busier than a guy who just came. All of a sudden, he's got a work meeting. Yeah. Babe, I got to go to this work. It's two in the morning. Yeah, I got to go. go. You work at Walmart. Like, what? Yeah. Like, what work meeting? Like, babe, I got to go. You know, I got to go. No guy is busier than a guy who just came. Like, when, when you watch porn, as soon as you come, you X out so quick. There is no cuddle porn. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's no cuddle guy. Category. You just act like you're disgusted with your like why it wasn't even oh, oh. yeah I have to close out and delete my history because yeah, I'm like, like why, why did I get down why that rabbit do hole where did this come from Holy who am shit. I for real <laughs> German moms who, who am I <laughs> fisting each other yeah, they don't even have sex in German porn they're just like each nine stock and blocking bring the piss like what why are we like can we at least have some penetration no <laughs> shit in my eye <laughs> like what is that what German this? porn is like Yo, German German porn is wild. German I feel like porn, I'm missing out. German porn and Japanese porn. Okay, Japanese. Wait, people, is that why we have a huge, porn. like a, a not a huge audience, but like a bigger audience in Germany? Yeah, because they're probably. freaky motherfuckers. We have like for some reason, I think it's just it's like Germany. There's like two countries, oh. and we're like number one in stand up I think the and United like Kingdom or too. whatever. And I'm like, that makes sense because we talk about the most fucked up shit love it. on here and they probably eat that shit up. Love it. We love you, the Germans, and I'm a the Jew. Germans. I the am Germans. reading a book about Adolf Hitler right now. Okay, that's a little far. We went too far. We were talking about Germany. Yeah, yeah, that's not all they I did. I have a book That's on. what I'm talking about, like the Monica Lewinsky dick. Like, Germany's done so many things, but that's <laughs> as Hitler. soon as you say it, you, can't, you have to be careful. <laughs> you have to be careful. That's why it's, like, very important to be careful. Well, that's... And, uh, that's why I'm celibate because I'm that. like, I, I can't fucking be just jerking off random dudes because I want to because well, then I'm letting them in and I'm giving them all my time and energy and then I fall in love with them and they work at fucking Foot Locker. Well, technically speaking, you could jerk off guys and still be celibate, but whatever. Oh, like, true. I, I don't write the rules. I just read them. I'm telling you, I don't write the rules. I feel like it's more like touching people and like, yeah, like when I was celibate, that. I was like, I don't want even to be touched. Yeah. 
like this is you know, m- Mormons do this thing called uh, soaking. <laughs> soaking. Soaking. We talked about that yeah, yesterday. Yeah, yeah. They soak, right? And like you know, in other places they have anal, so they're celibate. I don't know. You know, who knows? Do you think people ear fuck? Yeah, they do. Yeah, so you can hear me coming. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. People are just. That's. Imagine getting an ear infection from some dude nutting in your ear. Yeah, I mean. Oh, that's rock bottom. Yeah. Well, I there's mean, guys who will fuck eye sockets. Guys will fuck anything. You haven't heard about the guy who fucked an eye. His girl like didn't have an eye, so he fucked think, her eye socket. I think you did tell me. And this. then and then like she had, they like she had like it was smelling weird. And me, it was like. She had to go to the oh. doctors, and it turns out that he like had worked around a mor- like at a morgue or something, and fucked a dead person, and then fucked her eye, and gave her whatever that disease is from fucking dead people. Rigor in her mortis. Eye. Okay, so I'm gonna have to look into this, but <laughs> the fact that this happens. Take everything I say with like, a grain of salt. Yo, I'm, I'm gonna, high as fuck all I'm the gonna, time. I'm gonna look because people will tell me some crazy stories, and I'll be like, oh, let me like fact check. You know what I'm saying? They'll be like, no, trust me. I'm telling you, Antonio Banderas was the first president of the United States. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> like, like, oh. I got to look into that. I'm just going to look into it. I get it. I believe you. I I, I trust you. But I just want to look into it for myself. You know? I honestly, I recommend that. So, <laughs> I recommend that because half the time I'm like, is that the story or is that the person? <laughs> because the, okay. So since we're telling these crazy random world stories, okay. one of the world craziest stories is there in Africa, there is a girl born without a vagina. It happens to one out of like a hundred million. I feel like I've heard this. Yeah. She didn't have an opening. Okay. Fine. It Damn. happens. Did they didn't have one? an opening. No. So <laughs> she is cheating on her boyfriend with another guy or as depending on the story, she broke up with the ex and now had a new guy. Either way, the boyfriend comes home. She's sucking this other guy off. Okay, boyfriend comes with a knife, comes to stab him. She gets in the way, ends up stabbing her and then stabs him. And it's bad. Fine. Fine. They go. They try to stitch her up. She it's an infection. It's like it's not good. It's a knife. You know, they they check there. It's like they keep like doing everything they can. They're like, what's wrong? She's just always in pain. Nine months later, she gives birth. Huh? How did that happen? There's semen. The guy, when she stabbed her, the guy's sperm dripped in deep enough and got her pregnant. How is that even possible? I don't know, but the medical journal. And she has no hole happened. to deliver she the baby. She has no hole. Is this real? Which, I mean, you don't C-section. need a whole C-section, but the concept of her getting pregnant through this way just tells you how crazy and interesting the world can be and that the whole world is one big world star clip waiting to happen <laughs> well there okay so when i was when i was younger this is i was so like scared of getting pregnant because i was poor and i was like there's no way i'll be able to have a baby i don't even know if i'll be able to afford an abortion like i cannot get pregnant and i had remembered that like i uh my boyfriend at the time like came on my stomach and then like fingered me or something and i was so afraid that he was gonna get the cum like somehow through the cleanup, then finger me and get me pregnant. So I stayed up all night, like Googling, can women get pregnant from that? And they can. Of course they can. And I was like, Anything. I, and then I started going through the spiral of like deep thoughts where I was like, I'd be have to tell people I'm pregnant, but I'm a virgin. <laughs> I've never had sex. Like I was a virgin at that time. And I was like, I'm going to be the fucking virgin Jamie. Yeah, it's possible. There's crazy shit. It's crazy. You don't like. Stay away from cum. Every story, <laughs> you know, every story you can think of has happened in the world somewhere. Within reason. That's crazy. The world. I feel like that's the power of thought, too. You think of a crazy scenario happen, more people think of the crazy scenario happen, all of a sudden it happens. That's a real thing. Things happen. That's what makes this world so interesting and fascinating and fun and enjoyable. And that's why I'm toxic, because I see the world through that lens of everything is just a chapter in your book, right? And you can never change the beginning, but you can always change the ending. That was deep. You know, I feel like a new person after deep. this. I think you signed like on the sheet somewhere there was like, you have to give the girls a therapy session. And this is what this, this is. is. This, this is, is what that. we need. Yeah. It's like we took shrooms without hey, taking shrooms. You is kind. <laughs> you is smart. You is beautiful. And <laughs> you's got I some am. big ass titties. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't even looked. I hear that a lot. I don't even look at your tits. I don't. I really don't. I go out of my way not to notice anything about anyone. At all. You're just <laughs> no what? thoughts. No, you're just eyeballs. Yeah, Yo. only forty three minutes. We we had a conversation. We haven't even talked about anything. Like literally, we we just like go. This and is what we talk go. about. This, this is like is the it. shit we do. Yeah, it's random every single time. Like we either interview people, and it's more interview style, especially if they're not like uh, 
funny. Good at podcasting. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like some people are like they're good people to have on because like they can teach something. They have a really good point of view. But like you can help lead a conversation. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like sometimes we just like prefer that because we get high and so we're just talking about aliens and stuff and yeah. co- like conspiracies and sex and dating and it literally goes like this the whole podcast. But that's the point. Like it's just for stoners and people who like comedy and like whatever. That's how. Hold on. You're both. Women? Oh my god! I didn't even notice. I didn't even know. I don't even see. I've actually got that before. I don't see before. color. I don't see don't gender. See, yeah. Uh, I don't see. I'm actually blind. I didn't. Want, <laughs> I didn't want to bring this You've up. You've been looking like, directly at us. If you were blind, no. you'd just be like having the podcast. You would like say that. Direction. You would say that. But if you're around Stevie Wonder, bro, you would think this guy is daredevil. Have okay? you been around Stevie Wonder? Yeah, a couple times, and he did. Is you suck his dick. Dare, daredevil up. Oh, he um, definitely. You know his what? Dick. No, because I would just get someone else to do it and be like, "Yeah, Stevie, it's me." He would. <laughs> No, he's blind. He wouldn't know he's blind. At that point, I don't have to give up my, you know, yeah, my true. moral compass just Your to do cavity. something. Yeah, I just, I'm in it, you know? I'm about that life. I'm about the, the you, get ahead on my own terms, though, to be honest. Yeah, well, I mean, this is a storm party. So you, uh, you mentioned that your family is growers or something like that. So I have, I have a, a section of my family grows marijuana, and they're very good at it. So, yeah. You know a thing. lot and you don't even smoke. You I do like, not. I've never smoked. Yeah. Or drank? I've never drank. I've never even, I've never tried drugs. I've never hookahed. I've never any, I, I've never even drank coffee, <laughs> to be real. I feel like Whoa. I remember you saying that. Yeah, I've never even drank coffee. So. Are I, you just like against like any mind altering I'm not substance? against anything. It's just not my thing. Like, I like what I like. I th- I feel like what people do is they, let's look at relationships or anything. They make a list of all the things that they like. And then they find that and then they hate it because they don't realize you should make a list of things you don't like. What are the like if you let's say you like a guy and you're like, oh, I like I want a tall, good looking, rich guy. Hi, guys. How are you? Um, (laughs) Smart, you know, good looking, all these. How are we talking? I mean, I'm all right. You know, he goes to Dubai. Yeah, I mean, I do. all. I do. Well, did I mention I'm half Persian? So here's the thing. You want these from a you want this from a guy, but then all the things he doesn't do are the red flags that you didn't pay attention to because you mm-hmm. saw the things you liked over the you saw the green flags over the red flags. God damn I, I did this after flags. my last relationship. I count red flags. Like I'm like, yo, I just don't like things and I just don't like it. It's not like I don't mind other people. It's not like I'm against other people not drinking or smoking. I do hate cigarettes. Mm-hmm. I think people who smoke cigarettes, I'm like, why? Like, that's just horrible. Definitely prefer weed to cigarettes for sure. And definitely don't like people who are so drunk that they lose themselves. Like, if you're like a like a lush, like you're blacking out and now you're just a liability because you're drunk. Like, having fun drunk is great. When mm-hmm. you're like, oh, I mean, and then yeah. you're like angry. And I'm like, yo, I don't even like that energy in life mm-hmm. in general. Yeah, being out of control. I, I like need that. to drink. Like, like, yo, that. let's, let's, I don't need anything. You know what I'm saying? I like that. Yeah. So that's that's how I am. I don't even like it when people get too excited when a song comes on. Like, if you get too excited, you need to get out of my car. That's like a red flag? Yeah, it's like, yo. Uh, like, because I, I, one time I was on the way, we were going to we were going to Drake's house for, an, uh, for a thing. Oh, he was going to Drake's house. I, I'm not even dr- dropping names, but for this particular purpose, I have to. Mm-hmm. We're on the way to Drake's house, girls in the car. A Drake song comes on and she's like, oh my God, I love this song. I had to pull. I'm like, y'all, bitch, you can't even come to the, like, cause now if you're acting like this over a song, how are you going to act like when he's there? Like, I need you yeah. to get out. Yeah, you're that's a liability. so true. You're that's a true. Liability. People don't realize too, in like the industry and when you're around big people, everyone's like, like last night, um, I got the opportunity. They were like, do you want to be introduced to Bill Burr? And he's about to get on stage in like a minute. And I was like, why would I need to be introduced before he gets on? Like, I don't need to fangirl. Like, he's there. Like, he definitely just heard you say that to me about getting introduced. And I'm like, let him go on stage. Like, I'll meet him when I meet him. Like, I'm in the area. You know what I mean? Like, because I feel like when you start treating people like people and not fangirling and shit, Mm -hmm. then you can come around because no one wants to do that. No one wants to be like, oh, can I get a picture? Like, oh, my God, it's so nice to meet you. It, like, puts you almost on a different level. Like, as if you're not, you know what I mean? I I don't know. It depends on your intent, though. Because, I mean, we also like having that validation of people fangirling male or female like we appreciate it but in your particular case you were just being thoughtful hey this guy's about to go on stage you know how like you need that 
presence of mind mm -hmm. right before you go on, which is why when you go to a concert and even if you're best friends with Rihanna, when she's about to go on stage, you know she needs five minutes mm -hmm. before she's going on stage. She needs like five, ten minutes by herself. And then when she comes off stage, she needs five, ten minutes just, yeah. to, yep. just to get back. So I'm I'm appreciative that you were mindful of that. Yeah. Bill Burr is one of the nicest guys on the planet. I knew that's what like he was Such like he'd nice be so guy. he'd be like so open to meeting you. Like say you're from Boston, and I was like absolutely. But like you also know him, and I, I'll come here. Like there's gonna be another opportunity. And Why didn't I'm not you meet him when he came came off though? I don't think uh, he went right out. He to went his car. like he left like yeah, immediately. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah, so he wants to go home. He's got yeah. you know the wife and kids. He's you know, a little baby. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So I'm like, it'll. I'd rather meet in like a. I don't know. But you should meet him and, and have a natural, him on your podcast. Absolutely, yes. yeah, I, we yeah. would love to do that because we're both from Boston and. We have, he have red still hair. has the accent, which I'm jealous about now. Like, I used to hate my Boston accent, and I literally was like, I sound uneducated, and I sound fucking stupid, and I trained myself out of it. And now that I'm hearing people who go, like, big, like, doing content creation or, like, comedy with a Boston accent, I'm like, damn. I could have capitalized on that. that. Yeah, T, just get it back. Clam chowder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're good. I feel like it would sound <laughs> fake if we, like, randomly brought it back. Yeah. Um, I only get it when I'm angry. Or drunk. Legal seafoods. Yeah, <laughs> angry or drunk for sure. Oh, you get you become the Boston accent comes out yeah, a little bit more. That. Yeah, and yeah. It also if I'm around, if we're around more Boston people, yeah. you start like picking up words. Like we say, like mom, popcorn, roommate. Well, yeah, I gotta clean my room. Like that's Boston, but I'm not like. I don't know. Park the car and have yeah. yeah. Thanks so yeah. much for from, coming on a podcast. You're from so, Southie? Like, what's know. going on, both of you? Like, oh, yeah, you know Southie? That's no. where my mom's from. What do you mean? Uh, I watched the town. Listen, yeah. here's the thing. Now, I'm from the East Coast, so we know Boston pretty decent. You know, okay. it's not like on the West where they only know L.A. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. if you ask most people what's, what's the capital of California, they will say L.A., even though it's not. What is it? Uh -huh. Sacramento. It is Sacramento. Mm, looks that like third someone's, grade memory kicked someone's right in. getting a flight to Dubai. <laughs> I like Dubai smart girls. Dubai. Those are your standards. I feel like you need to up them. <laughs> Yo, you would be surprised. Like I, I definitely, <laughs> I definitely like smart girls. That's for sure. Yeah. Oh, you said the sapiosexual or whatever. Sapiosexual. sapiosexual I'm sapiosexual too. Yeah, yeah. If you don't stimulate my mind and I can't have a conversation with you, like. Oh my God. I remember there was this guy in college, so hot. Like, I was obsessed with him. Literally had the biggest dick, like the size of the fucking water bottle. It was not thick, though. So, like, not whatever. So, so we, just went like, to, we went to go, like, you? yeah, we, we went to, like, hey, fuck your cervix. We were, like, went to, like, we were, like, texting and talking, but we had never, like, really talked in person yet. Oh, God. And so we, like, He's ended stupid. up hanging out. Oh my God. He opened his mouth, and while we were fucking, I literally told him to shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. I said, shut up. And I just did it because I was like, this is more of an accomplishment for you, me you, but you, you I will, set your mind on it you had to do it, it, you, you, it I, was, I had to I was like this is the accomplishment I've thought about this for like months and then he talked and I literally was like oh my <laughs> god how, do, how does he get so much pussy and I'm like the same thing. reason why I'm fucking him right now yeah, when you believe you achieve that's but, it you achieve your goal and then you, you never talk to him but I never set him. the boundary myself now that's the thing like you will not even get access or I'm not even mm -hmm. interested in you now until like I don't care if you're fucking hot I don't care if you have money like if you are dumb or like can't hold oh, a real not. conversation. No, a that's real, the most unattractive thing. I went, I went and hung out. You know, it's a lot to be like a date. I went, hung out with this girl, very attractive, mm -hmm. very attractive girl. You know, one of the girls who has like millions of followers because she's so attractive on Instagram. Mm -hmm. We're talking. It's fine, but she's not really getting the jokes so much. You know what I'm saying? She's laughing only because she knows it's fine. Like she's like, you're really? laughing, and she's like, Hi. really? And I'm like, no, it's a joke. And it's like, oh, uh -huh. okay, we're well, still okay. But then I was going to Puerto Rico. I was going to Puerto Rico that weekend for filming something. And she was like, oh, you should take me. And I was like, oh, no. And she was like, it's okay. I don't have my passport anyway. Now, here's the thing. Oh. I could have at that point just let that go. But I was like, I don't know. why would you need your passport? And she's like, because it's overseas. And I was like, yeah, but it's over AC, but it's not <laughs> overseas. It's part of the United States. And she was like, no, it's, it's Puerto Rico. They're Puerto Ricans. And I was like, yo, you call Hawaii people hawaiians they're still also part of the united states and she's like so we had to google it we had to look it up she didn't know that puerto rico was part of the united states i had explained to her what a territory was down the whole rabbit hole of information now i get back a week later she hits me up it's like 3 a.m 2 30 3 a.m she hits me with the wyd what are you doing now we all know what that means at 3 a.m you're fucking yo that means like yo what's up and i'm like oh i'm at home i'm in bed she's like what company question mark now 
honestly, she was very attractive, like very attractive. And I didn't respond. And she wrote like question mark back. And I was like, look, I got to be honest with you. I don't think it's a good idea. And she said, why? I was like, do you really want to know? And she's like, yeah, I really do. I was like, look, you're really attractive, <laughs> but you also look like one of those type of girls that gets pregnant. You know, we're going to have sex. It's going to be amazing. You're going to get pregnant. We're going to have a kid. You're going to keep the kid. The kid's going to grow up. And then one day my, my child is going to lose on fucking Jeopardy because this <laughs> fucking whore mom doesn't know that Puerto Rico is a part of the United States. And I don't want that to happen. I just don't want that to happen. So you're thinking of your children. I'm, I'm thinking ahead. I'm like, thinking right I family. don't want that to happen. You know what I'm saying? That's like a real thought though. And people yeah. think that's mean, but it's like, that's the reality. Yo, when you have a kid with someone, you don't just have a child with that person is going to be responsible for at least partly raising that child as well yep. in theory. So that's what I, terrifies me now to have sex with anyone. I'm like, I can't have sex with you unless I can mm, picture you literally exactly. being the father of my kids. And that's why I'm so particular about the girls that I'm with because I won't kiss a girl I won't have sex with and I will never have sex with a girl that in the case, never mind love or marriage, she just gets pregnant. Now I got to take this girl home to my parents and be like, hey mom, hey dad, see this fucking random fucking <laughs> <laughs> You know who that happened to? Fucking Drake. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the thing. That's not the person he chose as the mother of his child. It all eventually worked out, but that's why the whole situation happened in the first place. And with Pusha T, that was like, yeah. he. that's not who he wanted as the mother of his child. Now, I think she's fine as shit. She's great. She's she speaks great. French. She, but I don't that's know if she's not hot. who he chose. Yeah. Do you you're see right, what I'm saying? Right. That's all I'm saying. And you want to, I, I think I want to choose responsibly. I want someone who is, I'm going to be like, yo, I can entrust you and your thought process and your temperament and, and raising your, my child and, with and my raising kid. our child you know yeah. what I'm saying yeah because I'm gonna fuck up but if you're also gonna fuck up <laughs> we're fucked. you know what I'm saying because if you're also gonna fuck up we're fucked like I just also like yo if you're look short girls are very cute there are a lot of really cute short girls uh, so my kid's not supposed to play varsity basketball because you're short bitch <laughs> like I mean <laughs> that's you know what I'm saying that's true I'm fine gotta, too so I have to date someone like super tall that's what I'm saying yeah. you wanna you, why why do you want to do that do you know short guys? What? Do I know short yeah, guys? Do you yeah, you know some short guys. Like, yeah, they're great. I love but them. let's be honest. Life would have been much better if they were just, you know, a couple inches taller. Couple <laughs> I inches still taller. think you can achieve a lot and That's be what, cool as a short guy. Of course you can. In fact, so then I'm like, if you have like all of these great qualities, that will totally overpower the fact that you're short. Then I won't care as much. Mm. But then, but like, you know who's gonna care? If you're your like your short you, son, I know your short son is gonna care. Like mom, like they're gonna. Why am I five three? Oh, that's right, mom. That's right. You you dated you Napoleon. Short. You know what I'm saying? You thought he was great. He was so he was so sweet. These when he was are all the things. Horse. Napoleon was actually not short. I know for he was five time. eight. He yeah. was five eight. Right, it doesn't matter. Sorry, I'm just yeah, scared the fuck Listen, out of me. I get it. And and his penis is in a jar in a museum. Is it? I get it. Yeah, it is. But let's go see Napoleon's the dick. The idea of it is. You don't want to procreate with poorly. just a rand rando. You, you don't, don't want to procreate poorly. You know what I'm saying? No, imagine if I got pregnant by that dumb football player. <laughs> you would have had a dumb football player. No, no. I, yeah, I would have had it taken care of you stupid to, kids. You also oh, have to look God. at the family. Like, is the family also dumb? Because he could have been dumb and then the kid could have got his like height and looks, but your personality, oh, superstar. That's true. Superstar. Mm. So you have to look at like the family tree. You have to like, like the whole thing. That's why you look at the like, oh, you're hot. How's your mom? You know what I'm saying? Like, let's look at mom. Let's look at grandma. Let's let's look. Is, uh, you know, is dad yeah. super bald? What's going on? Dad has a cross eye. Let's have a conversation. <laughs> you know, let's talk. We gotta figure this out. We gotta we gotta figure stuff out. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. how it works. You ever seen two really good looking people have like ugly kids? Yeah. You yes. know what I'm saying? Exactly. And then you have two ugly people that have, have good looking kids. We just talked we, about this. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? It just depends. How it's does just, it work? It just, it's, that's how the roll of the dice, the universe dice. I know. But We're I gonna, feel like it's so superficial. I, it's like, I do think that way. Like, especially when you're thinking of kids, you're like, okay, how do I want my kid to be? And you're like plucking like your parts of your personality and what you want somebody else. Like, I am not good at like, I don't know remembering shit. So I better have somebody who is like, has a great memory. You're you know so what I bad mean? at remembering shit that you couldn't even remember that you <laughs> weren't good at remembering shit. That is a real thing. That is, that was It's real thing. bad over here. Yeah. And yeah, so like, you know what I mean? So like, they have to be like super on top of that because I'll have the sales skills. I'll have the personality. Like Person all you're of a that. star. And I'm a business person too. Mm -hmm. But like, I, the, the organization, not there, ADHD. So like that person needs to be like a superstar in that category. And then I'm like, you're also thinking, okay, well, if I don't, if I think 
I have fake lips. Like these are this is lip filler. My family's born with no fucking lips. I, I'm so sorry. This is filler. Yeah. Yeah. We can't have a kid. So we were saying this. Like, guess who's not planning to buy? So listen. <laughs> here's the back to him. I'm back right. Down. It's literally. No. It's bad. It's bad. There's no lips. So I have to date someone with big lips because like you have to. Yes. A, you have. I don't want to pass that trade. You don't want to have kids. that are like, my mommy. Like, <laughs> that like, no. was me. <laughs> you don't want to be that person. You don't want to be that think, person. I always so have like I, a bigger bottom lip. So, so like I, I was just the top lip I didn't have. No lips. You have like lips. You yeah, but that means have, like, I can't regress my family by going to somebody who has no lips. I have to. You, you know? have to have lips. You mm-hmm. have to have lips. Why? How do people with no lips kiss? That's like, like how do girls no, with no bad. I've ass done it. sit on a chair? Like I don't know <laughs> how things work. You know, just like you have an ass. Yeah, you know. I'm, but here's you the know, thing. Turn it's all right. It's it's enough that I'm not. You can sit. Yeah, I can sit. You know? Proud of you. But you don't want, do you really want a guy that has like a fat ass? Yes. <laughs> yes, I like, want a guy with a fat ass. Person. Like a fat ass. ass. Like, like a fat ass. Like, like, like fatter than mine? Like, like you're like, uh, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I don't know. I don't That's really hot. feel like. I, I okay. want to do with It shows, ass. the reason I like that is because specifically for me at least, if you not only have like a big ass or like you'll have, typically if you have a big ass, you have bigger thighs. And that person I know is They're like They're really strong. good at giving birth. Oh. <laughs> They're like strong. They also like, I hate when guys just work out like their arms in the gym and then their legs are small. So it shows that you're more well-rounded and I like mm. that. It's like, you'll take that aspect. There no, no. is no, you're back in the running. Yo, whoa, whoa. I'm half Middle Eastern. Two, I need two more. Like we need four. <laughs> the rest? Wait, we had some sister wives. <laughs> like, we had some girl what are we, hot, uh, smart. <laughs> what are we doing here? Uh, we need the, uh, la, 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 la. yeah, we bring the women and then, uh, I yeah. don't know if we can get 72, but no, you know. No, 72 virgin. Who the fuck wants that? You know what I'm saying? 72 fucking, where were you last night? <laughs> Shut up, bitch. <laughs> you don't like, have I to don't teach 72 that. people how to give you head. Yeah, like, like, oh, it's just okay. I would not want a virgin. Yeah, virgins no. are, virgins are, like, virgins are, eh, like, eh. Yeah, I fucked one. It wasn't that great. Yeah. I was like, also I don't a virgin. Think I've ever virgin fucked guy? Oh, yeah, same. Virgin guy is horrible. Okay, virgin guy, virgin guy's horrible. I well, the guy I lost my virginity to was also virgin, and he wasn't bad. Yeah, but because you didn't know either. Like when two people don't know something, it's like it's like playing basketball one on one with two true. people that the suck. Blind are leading you know the what I'm blind. saying? You're like, oh look, oh yeah, use your foot. <laughs> like you don't like there's no there's no rules. <laughs> That's what you know? I was like, yeah. Like it's not it's not and and just being in that situation felt good anyway. Like any with anything. the person I loved and yeah. First time as a guy, the first time you come is absolutely electric. Okay, it's electric. It's like, oh, what is this <laughs> sensation? Oh, like, yo, now it's just like, eh. <laughs> like, <laughs> You're like, eh. eh let's come on. With someone? Let's go get some kale. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Kale. Like, kale. I don't even Ew. like kale. But yeah, you know who likes what? Kale? You know what I like more than you know what I like more than coming? Kale. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like it's all right. It's good, you know, but it's it's not that first time electrifying feeling yeah. of coming. But I feel like sometimes, and of course I would love for you to give me input, for women it gets better and better because it's developed that way. Like emotionally. Uh, no, oh, no, no. Even physically, because A, you know more what you want. And once again, you know what you don't like. And more importantly, physiologically speaking, if sex wasn't meant to feel good, you wouldn't have an organ that's only purpose is for sex to feel good. You have a clitoris, which is designed and it's anywhere. It could have been in the inside of your body, but it's not. So it's not for procreation. It's not for copulation. And it's not it's just- It's for pleasure. It's simply it for pleasure and it's meant to be. And that's why as we, as a society, as we shame sex and we shame sex workers we and we- shame, we shame it because there's like sexual energy is creative energy. Like that's where your fucking power comes from. Like that's your source. And so you make people feel bad about it. They don't get to fucking connect with their source. Exactly. Also, you know what I mean? Great. These it's old white greatness. guys who make these laws are, they're not having good sex. They, they, no. exactly. They're not fucking having good sex. So when they see people have good sex, they get upset about it and they try to create laws 100%. to make it impossible they're and illegal. Mad. <laughs> that's really, a lot of people don't realize, like if you look at it historically, a lot of times like that, as funny as that was, is actually historically accurate. Is Popes used to be able to get married and have children and so were priests, but then one pope was impotent and was like, no one's getting married. And that's how that started. That's not my opinion. And now they rape kids. No, that, I'm not going that far, but you both are from Boston, so I understand. We, yeah. yeah. I understand why you would say that, but my whole thing is like, that's the way it works. Even right now, we're looking at 
if you do not, in my opinion, if you don't have a uterus, you really shouldn't be having a conversation about fucking abortion. It's none of your mm -hmm. business. Like you need the people who For actually, sure. but my body, my choice. And I'll tell you why these senators are voting that way because they don't have good side chicks because no one's more pro-choice than a nigga with a side chick. Like you are pro-choice. You are like, let's get that abortion. Whoa, whoa. my body, your body, your choice. Let's make it happen. Like you are very oh my God. pro choice if you have some side chicks mistresses like or you're fucking someone you don't want to be the mother of your child that's exactly but what i mean you're like yes. yeah abortion exactly Love it. but these marital position just fucking just boring ass boring ass senators are just like oh we shouldn't get abortions because mom well, shut the fuck but up the thing bro is, you're they ruining pay it for their, theirs they can pay for their abortions they don't give a fuck about other people who have side bitches because you're telling me these politicians don't fuck prostitutes they do. Uh, they do. But they're like, we don't get them pregnant. Because trust me, you know who was pro-choice? I bet you if you ask Donald Trump, he'd be like, yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> we have a conversation right now. Like, uh, like yeah. I don't want another story. I don't really agree. I don't even really like Mitch McConnell. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's really how it For works. Sure. That is how it works. Did you know? Mitch McConnell like, die? Did he? I don't think so. I, no, he's still alive? He's been alive for like 4,622 years. That man's a dinosaur. That guy is uh, still writing rules. Writing rules. And you're speaking them to us. I, all I do is read the you rules. You just read the rules. I don't write That's them. That's comedy. That's being I, a, I don't write a them. messenger. I'm just a messenger, you know? Jamie knows. I think, yeah, protect comedy. <laughs> protect comedy at all costs. <laughs> I think that's why people get so mad, and I'm like, the co then comedy was not meant for you. If you don't find it funny, don't fucking go to the show, and don't go to comedy where you're literally meant to be offended. Like, that's the funny part. And if you're being offended, usually they miss the point of what the joke is. It goes over their little fucking brains. You can find the point comedians of who are less offensive. Just no, go but to a like different sometimes show. People, comedians will say things, and it, they say things that... If you just take that, and it could be offensive, but they're making a bigger point, and those people are just missing the fucking story because they get caught on what he says. Content outside of context yeah. is not information. And a lot of times with comedy, I'm not saying, I'm actually not saying that just because like all comedians aren't funny and everything, some things can be offensive. Yes. But there are people who are hypersensitive and hyper aware, and they go out of their way to be offended. Yeah. And just because you're offended doesn't mean you're right. Just because you're offended, a lot of people think, oh, I'm offended, I must be right. Just because you're offended doesn't mean you're right, but just because you're offensive doesn't mean it's funny. There's a fine line in between, and that yes. is true comedy. That is bars. Yes. That is true. Absolutely. For um, sure. That's also, that's the hardest part, too. I feel like being a new comedian is finding that balance. Because you see a lot of new comics, they get up and they're trying to do that, and then it just comes out like super racist. And super like, offensive, and super, super offensive, sexist, super whatever it is. And it's like, I, you know them, so you know like the point that they were trying to make, but you're like... But that's how comedy works as well, right? Yeah. And that's why comedians oftentimes get in trouble for not their new things, it's the older things. Why? Because when you're starting out, you go for the low-hanging fruit, you go for the easy laugh. You don't know how to be a comedian yet. Yes. You're learning. Just like anything, you're learning. And so oftentimes... You see that come out. But the truth is, with comedy, as in everything, practice makes perfect. Yes. So. What's your advice to, like, comedians who are just starting out who you don't want them to go for that low-hanging fruit? First is get on stage and find your own voice. Find your own. It's a very difficult thing. I know it sounds easy, but it's not. Everyone I still don't feel fuck. like I have my own you voice. You have to find your own voice. And practice makes perfect. There is no shortcut. There is no, oh, because you get 100 million followers— but when you go on stage, you will die 100 million mm -hmm. deaths. Mm -hmm. It is that simple. You only get one chance to make that first impression. Be a good comedian takes a lot of work. Practice makes perfect. Hit every open mic. Learn how to just be on stage. Learn the little things to get to the big things. It's honestly the same way you would get into the NBA. You would never expect someone who just even plays street ball really well to make it to the NBA. They don't. No. Yeah. And they're always like, why? It's because you didn't do the little things. You didn't go to practice. You didn't get coaching. You didn't get training. You don't know how to show up on time. Or the think like things. it, yeah. Exactly. Writing is very important, but you also have to have that muscle of repetition. And as a comedian, when we're looking at something, like as an average person, let's say an average person walks by a mountain, sees a, a, a boulder, and just thinks, oh, that's a rock. A sculptor walks by that same boulder and sees... David or the thinker or whatever statues that we still we still revere to this day. They're Michelangelo's. They're the Leonardo da Vinci's. Mm -hmm. Well, that's 
what a comedian is. You see a bit and you're like, no, there's something there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you chisel and chip away every time you're on stage until it becomes the bit that you knew that it would be. Because the secret is the greats, great people all know they're great before everyone else. Yeah. You know you're great before everyone else. Mm -hmm. Everyone else catches on afterwards. Mm -hmm. Everyone mm -hmm. always goes, now, it's like, oh, yeah, Drake's great. Yeah, but what about when he was coming off the grass and you thought it, making fun of him, mm -hmm. right? So that's the idea. So keep at it, Jamie, because eventually, especially with your you and Emily's personalities, you are intelligent, opinionated, keep going. voice, <laughs> articulate Tell me people more. who have a vision. Yeah. Who are intelligent enough to know that sex begins. If you think sex begins below the neck, then you don't know where sex begins. You're intelligent enough to know that you have thoughts on things that are going on in the world and it's fun. And you understand that comedy and the true aspect of comedy is taking tragedy from close up and giving that long zoom lens and making it from far away and making it comedy. Mm -hmm. And that's what comedy mind, minds mean. Having that comedic temperament is the very first foundation and both of you have that mm -hmm. and you would be surprised how many people actually just don't well i was actually asking for myself because i do want to start getting into stand-up comedy and you're you guys are right like it, it would be so easy to go up and like just shoot the shit about like the most outrageous things instead of making it about like your everyday life and finding the joy and like beauty and comedy in the basic shit and it's about you it's, it has to be personal you know the first thing a comedian does when they go on stage is we remove the mic stand I don't know if you've mm -hmm. gotten there, Jamie, where you're taking the mic stand, putting yep. it behind you. Do you know why we do that? See? Because you're removing the physical and metaphysical wall between yourself and the audience. Mm -hmm. The more vulnerable you are on stage, the more real you are, the more authentic and sincere, the more the audience is going to be compelled towards you and your comedy, which is why we love the Dave Chappelle's and the Tiffany Haddish's mm -hmm. and the Kevin Hart's. These are people who are like, as far as we feel authentically themselves. Yeah. yeah. In a specific way. And mm -hmm. they're not the same. Dave Chappelle, if I gave, if Dave Chappelle gave Kevin Hart his jokes and Kevin Hart delivered it, you wouldn't think, you'd be like, what are you doing? Exactly. And vice versa. That's something I'm trying to struggle with too because I'm like, I know this is, uh, like, I see some comedians and I notice that their jokes wouldn't be funny if it wasn't them telling them. That's the it's best. It's them yeah. that makes the joke funny. It's them that makes, but that also takes so much time. So you're looking at like the greats and you're looking at how much they've developed that voice and then their audience loves that voice. Mm -hmm. They know to expect it. And it's like, one, it becomes easier to write jokes when you know your own voice because then yeah. it's not changing a lot because I've done that when I got started. It was like, taking seven different types of voices or who I wanted to be sure. and none of it came together cohesively. Authentically for me. Um, but yeah, I just noticed that. So then I'm, sometimes I have to think about that with my own jokes. Like this might not, someone might say it's not funny, but it's them and how they'd say it. Like if you're bringing up a premise of a joke or whatever, but I don't know. But Finding your is voice is way. fucking hard. It is that way because, okay, both of you came to a show where neither of you actually specifically knew who I was as a mm -hmm. comedian yeah. and both left going, that guy's a good comedian. Yeah, yeah. That's the whole idea. Mm -hmm. it, I didn't just say jokes. I said things in a specific way, which by the show, you were like, oh, we completely understand this yeah. person's voice. Yeah, it was yeah. like your personality. Like exactly. that, we were like, that's him. And we we're like, we like that. And, and you're that, coming on here and you're just the same thing you were on stage. Because I, I am, without trying, just being. Mm -hmm. I'm authentically being myself. That is what the best comedians are, is when they're just authentically themselves. That's the best comedian. That's the comedians you 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 actually admire. Yeah. The ones who give you perspective. Because good comedy makes you laugh, but great comedy makes you think. And yeah. both of you have so many stories and so much flavor to your lives that you have so many things to talk about. Mm -hmm. Even even this whole show, if you took this whole hour we've had and you took up everything and condensed it to the right formulas, you have like five minutes of material that are killer material on stage. And, and that's how comedy really works. You have to condense every because it's all about the premise, build up, punchline. Mm -hmm. It's not just oh, look at this outrageous thing I said. That doesn't. That's not real yeah. comedy. That's not the comedy. A lot of people try that, and it's great. It's funny, but it's not comedy. It's just ha ha funny. But mm -hmm. I can't watch that. Yeah, yeah. I. That's what I. Uh, I started low hanging fruit, like super sexual. Like I'm still using the same jokes from when I started. I wrote so many jokes, but I've taken. Like I've made new sets and new storylines and how they go and like together. And that joke is not even the same joke it was, but it's still kind of, and I'm like learning how to write it in a new voice, but it's still not what I want. I want to like scrap it all 
because it was just that. And I'm like, I'm so much more than me talking about this stuff. And like, I, it worked and it got attention and it was like, look who I am. And everyone's like, I can't believe she fucking said that. But then it's like, okay, what else <laughs> yeah, is there? Titties. What, I is, get it. what else is there? It's good to get someone in the door, but it's like, that's not what I want to be known for. I want to like make people think on stage and like cause them to like feel things. Like I have yeah. so much trauma because and so much that's stories. Who you are authentically. Yeah. Now, if you weren't, if you were the titties person, that's fine too. That just yeah. find that voice that's authentically yours. It doesn't matter. And for men who are like, oh, especially industry people are like, oh, women just talk about sex. Uh, it's the same way that comedians of color talk about race. You know why? Because we talk about our truths. And guess yeah. what? As a woman, right? 80% of your life is some guy trying to fuck you. So <laughs> what are you going to talk about? You're yeah. going to talk about those experiences. But it's not the only thing that you are. Yeah. yeah. And I, that's the issue, too, is like, so I am a very sexual person. We talk about so much sex on here. Like, I've done, like, weird, crazy things. Like, we have so many stories. But... And I started telling that and that was like what people was different. So they were like, oh, I feel like I'm living vicariously through your stories. And then I just and then I did OnlyFans and then it's like you're only known as that. And so people stopped. I used to be like super smart in high school, like honors college, like all of this stuff. And no one knows that of me. They just see like the social media part that like gets attention. And I'm like, how do I balance like the comedy aspect? I'm so sorry. Did and you say honors? Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I was like I was third in my high school for like a long time until my like sister passed away. So yeah. and then a bunch of shit happened in my last semester and I went down to sixth. But I was like, yeah, I did all of that stuff. No, you're obviously free listen, ride at college, you're obviously everything. Extremely yeah. Extremely intelligent as a person. Both of you are. I mean, I didn't have to explain to you that Puerto Rico was a part of the United States. <laughs> You know, the bar's on the floor. The, the bar's I, on the floor. You would say you that. You know, I only knew that because I that. recently went to Puerto Rico. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll are, take it. But this there is are been, basic life shit as, I don't know. Yeah, this has been great. This How is, about we end off by introducing you? Yeah. <laughs> Because this was a great episode. Today we had on Tehran. We met him at an L.A. comedy show at Laugh Factory back in April. He's fucking hilarious, as you can tell by this whole fucking episode. Yeah. You do Tehran Tuesdays on Tuesday? Tehran Tuesday on Clubhouse Tehran. and Tehran Thursdays at the Laugh Factory when I'm in town because I okay. tour so much. But And it used to be Mondays and Thursdays, but I'm gone so much until I come back. Mondays is on hold. So okay. every Thursday, 9.30 p.m., Tear on Thursday at the Lab Factory. Come be a part of live comedy because that's where comedy lives. Oh, do you yeah. have a podcast or anything? I do. I have a podcast that I actually need both of you on. Fuck yeah. Sure. It's called Imperfect Gentleman. It's myself and my co-host, George Corey. And we bring on different female panelists to explain to us how we need to be better men. What we can <laughs> oh, do to be I, better I men. I love that. <laughs> Sign me up. Yeah, yeah. That's the real thing. And then we try to convince you to keep letting us be pieces of shit. But that's just <laughs> that's just what I do. You know what yeah, I'm like, yeah. I do toxic. Yeah. Ah, I said it. But that's the idea is that we bring on female panelists to who and we have a conversation and they teach us how to be better men. I'm that so down. Dope. Yeah, we would love to have you. Would Perfect. love to have you. That's well, actually we'll what I wanted to do. And this. then you're like, no, be on my podcast. And we're here. Oh, good shit. Yeah. We come Hell full yeah. circle. That's the whole thing. Full circle, baby. Yeah. We love it. Boom, bitches. Well, uh, make sure to follow him on social media. At I am Tehran all across the board. I A M T E H R A N. My name is Tehran, like the capital of Iran. So if you don't know how to spell it, just watch Fox News. It's really <laughs> on every night. I don't write the rules. I don't write the rules. You're just a messenger. I'm just oh, a messenger. Oh, goodness. You heard it here. Have a great week. Get high. Get fucked. Don't sure. eat shit for money. Oh, yeah. Don't do that. Unless it's $50 million. Then 50 think mil? about it. Yeah. Think, think about, about it. it. All right. We love you. <laughs> Have a good one. Bye.